I this cat has called decode the Morse code. What do we have here? Well, we have to create a function that takes a string as morph code as an argument, and we have to replace it by alphabetic characters. But note, we have a preloaded dictionary. So let's take that and take it with us. Well, let's start iterating. So for character in Morse code and print out the characters. Yeah, as you can see, we have dots as an output, and those dots represent the E. So this is the output that we are looking for. And a lot of white spaces, of course. But what do we have to do? Well, of course, we have to replace these characters by alphabetic characters. So let's consult our beautiful dictionary, Morse code, and then use the .get method. And as an argument, replacing the character. Let's see what we get here. We get non-values if the key is not in the dictionary, but if the key is in the dictionary, we get the alphabetic character. However, before we iterate, what we actually have to do is to cast our string to a list with the split method. And when do we have to split it? Well, at every white space. So that is what we put in as an argument. Yeah. But what do we have to do with the keys that are not in dictionaries? Well, we can place in a second argument. And that basically means, hey, if the key is not in the dictionary, we should just add a white space in our case. Let's print again. Yeah, there we have white spaces. And what do we have to do with these values? Well, we have to put it in a new string. So let's create a new one, result, for example. And let's add these values to the empty string plus equals and return it. Yeah, so we have white spaces at the start and at the end, which we should get rid of. And that is easily possible with the dot strip method. So let's compare it to each other. False. But there is some consecutive white space in the middle as well. There's only one white space that separates the characters from each other. And here we have multiple white spaces, uh, two in total. Uh, how do we get rid of that? Well, with the replace method. So we should replace double white space by single white space. Yeah, that will do the trick. And that does equal the expected result, I guess. Yeah. And of course, we can do the same in this comprehension. So return empty list and then start iterating. Morse code dot get character or white space for character in Morse code dot split with an empty white space as an argument. Then we should get a list. Uh -huh. To convert this list into a string, we can use the dot join method and put the entire list as an argument in it. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we should use the strip and replace method like we've just used. Get the same result. Boom. There we have it. Well, let's take this and test it out. And then, there we go. Hope this has been useful. Did you learn something from it? I thank you for watching and hope to see you in another video. Ciao.